So in this video, we'll be discussing about one of the most important feature of a material marketplace that is shipping. So we have a dedicated feature app known as shipping, which allows sellers to set up their own shipping rates. So as an admin, if you install a multi vendor marketplace on your Shopify store, you, your shipping rates will be calculated on all the products based on the shipping profile you have set up on Shopify end. So let's see that. This is a Shopify backend of the admin. So you can see the shipping rates under shipping and delivery. So as a default, when you install our app, these rates will be shown on every product as set up in this profile, general shipping rates profile. So let's show you that as well. So as set up over here. So if you want as an admin to allow your sellers to set up their own shipping rates, then you need to use our feature app uh, known as shipping. So this is the admin panel of our multi window marketplace. Go in the feature app section. So here it is. You need to enable this feature app shipping. So a few things we need to consider before enabling that this shipping feature is only for multi window pro plan. It only works on multi window pro plan. Apart from that, your Shopify should have real time carrier calculated shipping. This feature is already there on Shopify plus and Shopify advanced plan. But in order to have this on Shopify basic Shopify plan and on Shopify plan, you need to contact Shopify support. So all these things we have mentioned in our guide, which we will link in the description. Once done, you need to go in the configuration from configuration menu. Just go in marketplace shipping configuration. This video will be discussing particularly about zone wise shipping type. We have three types of shipping available. So if as an admin, you want to allow your sellers to set up the shipping rates as for the country states, then you can go with the country wise shipping. If as admin you want to allow your sellers to set up the rates fixed for the different countries, so you can go with the zone wise shipping. So as admin you create a zones like Asia where you have different countries then Europe, then North America, etc. Then you if you want to allow your sellers to set up the rates as per the postcode, you can go with the postcode wise shipping. So in this video we'll be discussing zone wise single shipping plus multiple shipping. So first we will discuss single shipping and then we'll be discussing about the multiple shipping as well. Now you have the configuration for the labels. You can change the labels from here. Then you have the configurations for the restrict buyer. So for this configuration, you can allow your buyers to add the address so that they can check if the seller is shipping to their address or not. Okay. So for this, you need to add certain codes, which we have given in the guide as well. So you can just go into the configuration section instruction for the marketplace and you can find the codes here as well. So it will on the front end, it will look something like this. This is our product page. So you will get an option as a buyer to just input the address like this. And if the seller is not shipping to that address, you will get a notification like this. Coming back to the panel, you have another feature setting allowed delivery days for zone wise shipping. So with this admin can allow sellers to set up the different delivery days for different zones. Also, the you can as admin, you can you can configure certain codes so that the buyers can also see the delivery days as per the zones. For this, you can again go to the instruction for the marketplace and you will find the codes over there. And we have given those in the guides as well in our guide as well. It will look something like this on the product page. So you have the zones and then you have the delivery days. Coming back to the panel once again, then you have different configurations. You can go through one by one. Then you have the shipping calculator configuration. You can enable for specific countries or all countries, depending upon your requirement. Once done, just save it. So we are going to set up single shipping zone wise. So let's go into the method shipping methods. Let's click on shipping method now. So you can see over here marketplace shipping zone wise. You need to set up this one. So let's configure this one. Let's add the shipping zones. Let's name it Asia. Let's add the countries. 
we have Afghanistan, then so let's add India and for the demo purpose we are adding so we can add Iran, Iraq, so let's do it. So we added four countries in this zone, Asia zone. So let's save it, let's create another zone, let's name it Europe. Let's add the countries. So let's add. Let's add. Uh, we are just adding the random now. So let's add Belgium. So let's add these four. So let's save it. So we have created two zones, Asia and Europe now. So let's go into the seller panel. Let's see how it works. Let's log into the seller panel. So this is the seller panel. First, we need to enable the shipping, the zone-wise shipping. So let's enable this one. So you, from here, you can just enable it on the marketplace shipping configuration. Then go into the shipping methods. So you can see the store shipping. So we have configured on the marketplace shipping like this. That's why you're seeing the store shipping name on the seller end. So you can see over here. So let's set up the ranges here now. So let's set up the range. So we have already added the ranges. Now let's add the pricing. So you can see the delivery days for this zone. So let's make it 10 days. Then we can set up this 20 and 30 for the Asia. And you can see all the countries over here. Let's save it. Let's add another also. So let's, the ranges should be the same. Let's just, okay. So let's add for the Europe. Let's make it 20, make it 40 and 50. You can see all the countries over here. So it's being done now. So we have added the zones also and we have added the pricing and the ranges as well. So shipping, single shipping plus zone is done. Now coming back to the multiple shipping and zone wise. So let's get back to this one once again. Let's go into the, this is the admin panel. Just go into the marketplace shipping configuration. Just make it multiple shipping. So for that, you can see the shipping rate should be there on the checkout of the product page. So as of now, we are going into the checkout, which is a standard for most of the websites. The rest of the shipping settings will be same. So let's save it. So the multiple shipping enables admin and allow the sellers to set up to, to provide different shipping methods to the customers. So like you have express shipping, then expedited shipping, then you can same provide to the customers. They can choose between those among those. So you have the fastest, slow and so on, depend, depending upon the prices. So let's go into the methods. So let's create another shipping method. Let's make it express shipping. Let's save it. Let's enable it for the seller. Now let's add the zone in this as well. Okay. This is being done. Now let's go into the seller panel. This is the seller panel once again. So let's go into the shipping method once again. You can see that express shipping is also coming now. So let's enable this one and let's set up this one as well. You can set up uh, one of those as a default also, or if you have like five or five or six shipping methods in the multiple shipping, you have set up as an admin then you can set one of them as a default. So if on a product level, seller is not uh, enabling any of the shipping methods, then the default will come as a default, okay? So let's see it. The so same, we have to do it again for this also. Add the ranges. So let's add the ranges on the basis of price. You can go either on price or on the weight. So we are just adding on the basis of price. Now 
let's add another one let's save it now let's see the zones so we have set up on admin we have set up two zones so for this one we are just adding for the europe so let's make it 10 30 and 40 let's save it you can see all those countries over here so this is simple now you have on our product level I'll, let's see how it looks on the product level so as a seller when you just create a product you will see for the when you when the multiple shipping is enabled then you have the option while creating a product to have both the shipping or you can just so we haven't enabled the let's go into the config we haven't enabled the another shipping method that's why we're not getting this so free shipping okay so at this level need to make this one oh, we have just created uh, only single shipping method that's why we are getting only single in the seller panel okay so you can see over here we are getting only single methods so let's make it add another let's make it expedited let's enable this one all as well Okay. So this is being enabled. Now coming back to the seller. Let's refresh it. So you can see expired shipping is also there. Now let's enable this one. We need to set up this also. So for this, let's set up this. One is fine for this one. Let's set up the zone. Let's set up for this as Asia. 10 and this 50. Let's save it. Now the product level you'll see. So we are we are going with the multiple and zone wise. So on the product level, you will see that you will get option. So if for this product, if you want to provide both the shippings to the customer, then you can enable it and you can save it. So the customer will get both the shipping options okay so if you have any query feel free to comment to the live chat which you can find on the admin panel over here or you can also email us at the support at the